move into this new building. Mm -hmm. You moved in to Pearl Street. And your experience as a teacher in the 60s and as the head of upper school in the 70s was really a bridge from the old Brooklyn Friends to mm -hmm. the new Brooklyn Friends at that time. And now we have another bridge from the Willoughby Street School to the high school in its own facility. Mm -hmm. So when I've talked to alums from the 1960s who remember you as a teacher, they remember you as one of the great teachers that they ever had. And when I talk to alums from the 70s, not only do they remember you as a great teacher, but they remember you as the head of the upper school who was sometimes hard on them, but always had a sense of love and care for them. I came to the United States 1949. Oh, okay. I went to school right. in the United States. Uh -huh. I, was, I got two degrees from Columbia University, okay. from the Russian Institute. I know the Russian Indian. Institute, but you, yeah. you, were two you an undergraduate there too? Yeah, I, I got my BS. As a matter of oh, fact, from I consider huh? yeah I oh. consider my BS my most important degree because it was signed by former President Eisenhower right, because right, the right. president of the university right. and all the students who are graduating saying well, he has to sign our diplomas right. and sure. he did. So I consider that more important. I never knew you went to general studies. That's yeah. terrific. And then I went to the Russian Institute and got mm -hmm. a master's right. and of course two year program you got all your graduate degrees. Right. You had to stay and write a PhD dissertation. Right. I said I've had enough, I want to go okay. and teach. Okay. I wanted to stay in New York because I love New York, mm -hmm. but uh, and I wanted to teach in public school, not in private oh. school. Uh, and I applied, and uh, they liked uh, what they saw on paper. And then when I went for the interview, they said, "Oh, you speak English with an accent. We can't hire you." Wow! So from there, I went uh, applied to private school. So mm -hmm. my first teaching job was in Virginia, which was an education. Mm -hmm because I learned so much about uh, life there, yeah. and then uh, it was a shock, but at the same time it was an education. Mm -hmm. And after two years I was ready to leave. Right. And I went. And the shock was segregation? or, or? Segregation primarily, mm -hmm. but uh, I felt kind of out of place. Even the school was very supportive, and I enjoyed teaching. I found mm -hmm. out, hey, the school helped me and proved that I really, yeah. this is what I wanted. Great. And, and then Connecticut. Connecticut was, for three years, and then and in Connecticut. Which school was that? Under St. Margaret's, which is oh, one right. of yeah. uh, the so called special private schools. Right. Girls and boys, they got yeah. together for. Well, I like that very much too, but I miss New York, so mm -hmm. I returned to Brooklyn, and that's where I did most of my teaching. And that was. Brooklyn Friends was your first contact with Quakers, or...? or uh... Yes. I had, you know, I had read about Quakers, I knew about Quakers, but uh, I had never experienced uh, working with them and uh, some of their uh, special philosophies. All I knew was that they have silent meetings. Right. So when I talk to alumni from the 50s, they say that, that Birdsall was really the person who most manifest... He was the only the Quaker, Quaker at the was school. The only one. Minahan was not a Quaker, mm -hmm. and the rest of the teachers weren't Quakers, so mm -hmm. he was the model or symbol. and right. uh, Or the token. Yeah, he, he, he'd get uh, frustrated sometimes with us, but uh, he was a wonderful person. I so did you feel you learned from him, sort of? Yes, because uh, when we had the silent meetings, he, he would be the only one. We'd go to the meeting house, mm -hmm. you know, because in the old building we had the advantage of the meeting house. Right. And once a week we congregated there, and he always got up and said some things which were very relevant and very meaningful. You were the first woman administrator at Brooklyn Friends, except for the beginning when the I, first seven heads. Yeah, I never given that school. much thought. But being the first history teacher seemed to be a shock for students. Mm -hmm. Seems before me there was a teacher who'd been there a long time, now I don't remember any names, mm -hmm. and he'd left and then a 
British gentleman had replaced me, so mm -hmm. a man replacing a man was okay. Right. But when they found out that a woman is going to teach history, mm -hmm. that was for the high school students almost unbelievable. Mm -hmm. She is going to teach, a woman is going to teach a history? Mm -hmm. Well, that's really something. And then they said, oh, you speak English with an accent. I said, yes, I do. Oh, what's your background? Armenian. Oh, you mean Romanian? I said, no, <laughs> Armenian. Never heard of Armenian. Right. I said, well, and then the next day they'd come and say, yeah, I, I went home and said, uh, we have the foreign teacher and she says she's Armenian. My mother recognized the word Armenian, oh, said their students. Uh, right. Terrific. I said, really? Yes. Yeah, my mother said, the starving Armenians. Oh, okay. And then they started, right. they thought I'd be embarrassed. I said, that's correct. I am the starving Armenian. Great. <laughs> <laughs> so when I talked to those students from the 1960s who had you as a teacher, mm -hmm. they all say that you were very demanding, that you gave them the hardest tests that you could give, but that you were also very tender to them and concerned about yeah, them as I, individuals. If they needed help, I would spend the time, come early or stay late or whatever. So I wanted them to think. I didn't care whether they uh, thought George Washington was great or not. Mm -hmm. Prove it. Yeah. Prove it. Right. You can prove that he was great, fine. You mm -hmm. think that he was a failure? Prove it. Stuart right. came mm -hmm. and brought a lot of changes for the first time. We felt that there is an attempt to really practice some Quaker philosophies. Mm -hmm. uh, because uh, by then, uh, Bertzel had retired. Right. So, so after Stuart came, there were little changes. The schedule mm -hmm. changed. We got the students involved right. in the school, keeping the school clean, sweeping yep. the place, all of that, program. that this is your school. Yes. We wanted to emphasize that they should adopt the school and treat it as if it's yeah. theirs.